Hello YouTubers! In this video, we're going to be tackling more sticky buttons on my Ferrari 360 Modena. This time we're going to be removing this cluster of buttons right over here. Hi YouTubers, my name is Seb. This is Seb Supercar. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm gonna be tackling more sticky button issues. It's just a continuation of my last few videos using similar methods. This time, we're going to be addressing this bank of switches on the dash. Because we're dealing with electronics, the first thing I do is disable my battery. So you wanna roll down the windows, so that way you can actually open and close the door to get past the weather stripping. And always make sure to leave a rag or a piece of foam under the hood bonnet so that way it doesn't clip shut because you will not be able to use the remote unlock feature inside the car to open the front. Okay, so before we get started, what I did was I took a picture of this bank of switches so that I could recall the order for the connectors when we reassemble. To remove these switches, you can use a flathead screwdriver and just gently poke behind and wiggle with your fingers and pull them out. Now that I've pulled out all the switches, what I've done is I've labeled each one of the connectors from left to right. That way I remember which switch they connect to. Now that we've got the switches removed, it's time to take off the bezel. There's two little tabs on either side. You've got to reach into the second hole, pull back the tab and lift out each of the sides. Now we're just gonna push through each of the connectors. We've got two more at the bottom for the buttons and the LED. The little clip you push back and here is a little tab front and back. Now we can bring this inside to have cleaned with the switches. Now that I've got my switches and the bezel indoors, I've laid out a little cloth to protect my tablecloth because everything that these switches come in contact with leave a black mark. So you want to protect that. Uh, on the back of the bezel, the two little switches and the alarm LED, there's a little circuit board. It comes off with just four little Phillips screws. I've already done that. And uh, I start off by cleaning the bezel. Now again, what I'm using are Neutrogena makeup remover wipes. I bought the unscented ones. You can buy these at Walmart. They're really inexpensive. I think less than two bucks, or around two bucks per pack. They do work very well. Um, you have to just be very patient with it. Uh, it doesn't come off as fast as using alcohol, but I do not like using alcohol on these parts. It's, it's just a little bit too aggressive. Uh, if you have gloves, wear them. I'm all out actually from the other parts that I cleaned. And then it's just a matter of taking your makeup remover wipe and wiping things down. So as you can see, it takes off the goo really nicely. So after I've wiped off all of that sticky goo off, with the makeup remover wipes, to so take a microfiber cloth, just give it a little wipe down. And you can already, maybe you can see the difference there. Bad one, nice clean one. Now, some people recommend to take the whole switch apart and you can clean in and around. I didn't find that that was actually necessary and it removes any risk of uh, damaging the switch or losing um, the spring inside. I was able to get in there um, just with the cloth and working it with my finger all around. So it's up to you. Now in terms of the finish, 
I rather like the look. It comes out like a nice matte black. Uh, it's matching the other parts that I've cleaned. So I'm not going to recoat these. Um, some people use the Plasti Dip, respray them to get that soft touch. That's fine if you prefer. I don't want to go through this ever again. So I'm quite happy with the way that feels and that looks. I'm not going to do that. Now that I've got all my parts clean, I can reattach the switches to the bezel using the four little Phillips screws. All right, now we're all done. The finish is really, really good. So we go back in the garage and reinstall everything back into the car in reverse order. We're back in the car now, and I'm gonna put the bezel in first. So I'll just connect the two connectors at the bottom to begin with, pull through, my switch connectors and I've got these numbered from left to right one to four if you recall so I don't mix them up because they're the same connectors And the way the bezel goes in is we clip in the bottom first. There's two little claws, clip in, and then just snap in the bezel like that. Now I can connect all of my switches and just pop them right back into place. And remember, I took a photo, so I remember the order of each of the buttons. There's just two little spring clips at the top and the bottom. They just snap right in. And then my last sport mode switch. That's it, I'm all done. I'm quite happy with the finish and the way that it's turned out. It's matching all of the other dials and controls within the car now. And uh, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel so you can watch more content about my experience with this beautiful Ferrari 360 Modena. Thanks for watching.